while I'm here first, obviously I've already washed my hands, I've wiped the desk down and I've got my apron on and my hair up. What I'm going to do is preheat the oven to 180 degrees Celsius. So that's 180, your ovens at home may be slightly different obviously for the ones we've used at Kazakh school, but make sure they're turned on, the fuse there, and then I'm just setting it to 180, the main oven. And then obviously you remember about this at school, you've got the clock button to make sure it's on. Then the next step is to cream your margarine and sugar until they are light and fluffy. Now we all remember what creaming means when it comes to us in home economics. So we've got our margarine here. So you should be able to see the recipes attached, but it is 50 grams of margarine going in. And then I have my 40 grams of soft brown sugar. So I'm sure you guys can remember this, but the way to do it, use your finger with the, with the, the wooden spoon, push it against the side of the bowl here, so that you are creaming that sugar and margarine together. So it is light and fluffy. Margarine has been sitting out for about 20 minutes from the fridge. That will help it come together. If it's been straight out the fridge, it might be quite hard and this might be quite a process for you. Okay, so now once we've done that, we're going to stir in our 15 ml of syrup. Now, does everyone remember what 15 ml is? Yeah, one tablespoon. Okay, so we've got the 15 ml of syrup into here. Then we are going to add in our flour. So this is our self-raising flour. Remember that? Self-raising flour in. And then our scoop of milk. So that's another 15 ml there of milk. And then in go our chocolate chips. Probably got some left over from Christmas. Some chocolate in the house. Get those into your chocolate chip cookies and then we're just mixing them together so what you might find is that it's a little bit dry add in a wee bit more milk to see what your mix is like and what it needs. And the minute my dough is starting to come together, so when you've got a mix that starts looking like a recognisable cookie dough, just like this. That's when we move on. Now we're going to start portioning the cookies. So what I've done is I've just got a spatula to make sure we scrape all of that great mixture out the bowl. So make sure that all comes together there. And then I'm going to pop this to the sink. Make sure we're cleaning as we go. So. The recipe suggests that you can spoon the mixture. So I'm going to show you two ways of doing this. You can either make sure you get even sized cookies on your baking tray. So what I've done here is I've got a lined baking tray with some greaseproof paper to make sure that the cookies don't stick. So you can either get equal amounts by using two spoons like we've done with the fairy cakes or you can get a spoon and if you want to get your hands involved, you can roll them into balls to make them even sizes and pop them on the tray. Now remember cookies do spread out so what you want to make sure you do is keep them evenly spaced on the baking tray. So just make sure we get even amounts. So use your spoons. Of course in the food industry they'd use scales to make sure that everything is the same size. So you could do that if you wish at home. Remember, I have washed my hands very thoroughly. 
especially if you're sharing the cookies. Right, so pop those all down there. You might have also seen on something like Great British Bake Off, people using um, ice cream scoops to make sure they have the same sizes. That's up to you if you wish to do that. You could experiment with a couple of different ways and see what your favourite is at home. So just making sure I've got all the mixture out there. So I've got that going there. So I'm just going to pop these in the oven now. Remember what I always say in my classes, oven gloves to put them in the oven because it's a preheated oven. Don't want any burns. Right, so I'm just going to pop them in the centre of a preheated oven and it says for eight to ten minutes. OK, so if you've got a timer on your oven, you can set it on there. So my cookies look like they're ready to come out of the oven. My other gloves on again, and as you can see, these are the cookies. They look pretty good. Hopefully, they taste good too. So I'm sure we can all have those in our coffee break today. But enjoy, and I'd love to see the results of your cookies as well. <laughs> 